Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're here uh, with the uh, 22 Yards team. Uh, we've got a phenomenal setup going on here. Uh, we're live from uh, Fort Lauderdale, and Mr. Rirajabdi, Mr. Mike, all the friends, and the uh, team 22 Yards is present here. Uh, we're going to ask them, we're going to say hello to everyone, and we're going to let them know what their aspiration is for the semifinal on Saturday. Uh, let's see who they're playing against, and uh, let's speak to uh, the president of 22 Yards, Mr. Irajabdi, first. Ah. Hello, sir, Mr. Iraj, how are you? That's Bishu, say hello. Yes. Okay, Mr. Iraj, what do you think about the uh, 22 Yards happening to semifinals? And what do you have to say? And uh, tell them what do you wish uh, for them and as far as your aspirations and inspiration uh, please let me uh, let me and my viewers know what do you think of that yeah definitely you ask what's my wish my wish is a win for sure right? I knew that uh, but we have a rest day today okay everyone is enjoying we're relaxing ourselves we having we having a pool party okay uh, we have a lot of players came from around the world from Guyana Jamaica Pakistan India England of course, we are here to win. Uh, we have a very good game coming up tomorrow. All right. Uh, yeah, the team who wants to relax today when when and then going into tomorrow, do a little practice. Gym. Perfect. And um, sorry to interrupt, and I would like to ask you about um, um, how did 22 yards evolve into such a certainty of, of uh, from club level going all the way up, getting ICC approved, then recruiting players from Guyana, West Indies, Pakistan, India. Uh, it's a very cohesive action. Uh, I would like to know more, or I, I'd, I'd rather like to dig in about what made this passion of yours convert into such an exceptional level of, of team formation as well as uh, uh, this, this cohesive collaboration of, of people, management and players. Yeah, I have a very long answer, but I'll keep it very short because since everyone is enjoying themselves here. The, the, it's a very long history of 22 yards. 22 yards was born back in 2005 when we all were students uh, at University of Maryland, right? From 2005 to 2013, we were we were playing as a University of Maryland club, and then converted ourselves into a 22 yards into a private uh, private cricket club. Um, from day one, not just my focus, very key management people. Our focus was to build the foundation because we think once the foundation is built, the journey is easy and it helps us out, out a lot. And you can see the result where 22 Yards stands today in USA. All right, Mr. Raj, now I would like to ask you if you would introduce us to Mr. Mike, who's also a very handy hand in the formation of 22 Yards. I'd like to ask him a few questions uh, and you can go and bring him in. Please yeah, introduce sure. him. Give me a second, please. please. Mr. Mike. Yes. <laughs> yeah, so that's Mr. All right. Mike. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the man of the art. That's Mr. Mike right here. Uh, he's a phenomenal, phenomenal person, a humble human being, a person that the uh, 22 Yards team depend on. He's never shied away from uh, the tremendous responsibility of forming a team, showing them a good time, giving them leadership, and telling people. Uh, behind him like Iraj and everyone else from the players to the team management and showing them how to bond and gel and how in perspective you could be a better team and how you go and win. Uh, he's a go-getter type of guy, a successful businessman and uh, definitely his passion of cricket ranges from all the way back and as a kid when he was in India and uh, one good thing about Mr. Mike is uh, despite his success in business as well as as cricket and whatever he's doing to serve the game of cricket he's a genuinely a humble guy and I'm going to go ahead and ask him some questions and I like his uh, direct answers so Mr. Mike is no ordinary man he's a humble human being who's a friend who's a dear person not just to the management but to everyone he believes in giving respect he believes in giving everyone the share uh, or, or the, the credit that's due so, hello, Mr. Mike. How are you? Good, good. How are you, sir? Very good. So, I'd like to ask you, how? what is your passion about cricket? That's my number one question. It just came uh, from the roots from India, back home. So, we used to play a gully cricket. And over here, we met a few of the nice personalities in my life. And then, from there, I just started from Pittsburgh. And now, I'm very proud of to be a big part of a big club called 20 Yards. Great. So, let me ask you this. Uh, 
what I've heard is you're a very successful businessman. Uh, and uh, you know, but how come the passion of cricket going against all the odds, staying in the United States of America where cricket is not what it's used in India or Pakistan or subcontinent or let's say Australia or England definitely, but how did your passion convert into bringing such an exceptional team that today 20 Yard Sultan is actually responsible for recruiting international superstars uh, like Vishu, like Rutherford, like Asad Ali from Pakistan. These are exceptional people and this requires uh, a grand operation. How were you able to pull this off? Was it just purely because of passion and the love of the game or there's there's something else you'd like to share and no one knows? Actually this team when we started planning it was all Jesse from USA, the big star and he is already connectivity with the CPL players. Then I got introduced to Trevon Griffith, and then I personally went to Guyana to pick the team. And we wanted more players from one city because they gelled pretty good. And we, I think we got a very good roster as Bonswell, and then Sinclair, and everybody. So we basically, our target was that Pakistan is more famous for the fast bowlers. So we picked one guy from there, and then uh, according to the team, whatever was the ne necessary, what we needed in, needed in the team was a uh, Vishu as a leg spinner. Then we need a left arm spinner, who was a young kid net, and then we have Sinclair all spinner. And then we were looking for a batsman as well, Trevon Griffith, and uh, you know another guys whatever join us. So that's how we build the team. I mean, look at this uh, guy, Mr. Mike. I mean, look at the cohesion that he's formed between Pakistan, India, Guyana, and it's all because of the love of the game. I would like, Mr. Mike, uh, uh, a very, very warm welcome as well as best of luck for the semi-final that he's, uh, you know, his team is going to play on Saturday. We're still going to find out with who. And I tell you, he's a gem of a man who loves the, the game of cricket. And he's going to also introduce us next to the team manager that everyone loves, from Mr. Mike all the way to the last player in the team. Uh, his name is A.P. Anand Patel. Uh, Mr. Mike, I would like the honor for you to introduce to us sure. Mr. Anand Patel. It's a pleasure. Mr. AP is right here right now, so you can talk to him. Okay, Mr. Anand Patel, so you're the team manager at 22 yards. Yeah, that's correct. Is it a tough job? When it's your team, nothing is a tough job. Okay, great. So I'm hoping and I'm, I'm sure that you do love a game of cricket, is it? Absolutely. And do you like the team that you have at roster at hand? Are they demanding? Do they ask you things that it's hard for you to do? Or is it just personally like you do it for the for the luck and the and, and the, the passion and love of game? No, I mean, to be honest, they, they are all a good bunch of people. Uh, so, yeah, it's, it's, it's an honor uh, to work with them. Uh, but no, the no no high demands or nothing. It's a low maintenance group. And uh, how do you know Iraj? I know you're an ex-22 yards yourself. And what would you like to say about Mr. Iraj Abdi, who's the president of the club 22 yards Sultan? Would you like to share some uh, perspective on his management skills, on his player recruit, uh, you know, recruiting skills? And what is one good thing that you like and one good thing you don't like about Iraj? Yeah, so I mean, I know Iraj for more than a decade now. Uh, we both uh, went to the same school, UMBC. That's where uh, the club initially started. Uh, and after that, once we changed to like a private club, uh, he has uh, taken the leadership and he has run the club really well. Uh, so again, it's uh, all wonderful things. Uh, he has taken 22 yards from a college level to like a national level. Uh, so he has definitely put us on the map, not just uh, uh, across the nation, but like even internationally, we have uh, followers uh, following 22 yards. All right. and. Um uh, I, I think it's your second or third time being here in uh, Fort Lauderdale at the Broward County Stadium and, uh, you know, being hands-on with uh, with the 22 yards cricket team. Is that correct? Uh, as far as the U.S. Open is concerned, yes, the second time. Uh, but as far as the original uh, UMBC is concerned, uh, we were here a couple of times for the uh, college tournament also. Lovely. One last question. Do you miss being part of the team? Uh, I, I mean, whether we are on the field or off the field, we are all an integral part of the team. So I, I never feel left out. Or All right. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the great AP. A humble and a genuine gentleman who loves the game of cricket. And he's the man, the go-to guy. Uh, for 22 yards cricket. Next, I would like Mr. Anand Patel to introduce to us the West Indian superstar leg spinner, Bishu. Yeah, so it's my absolute pleasure and honor to introduce uh, Mr. Devendra Bishu. Uh, 
former national, uh, West Indies national, and uh, our captain uh, Jesse Singh, who is also a USA national player. Lovely. Uh, Bishu and Jesse, I would like to be in the frame now. Hello, Bishu, how are you? I'm good. Hello, Jesse, a very good evening to you. I've heard nothing but uh, but good things about both of you. First of all, congratulations to both of you for leading your team 22 yards into semifinals. Uh, you've guys done a tremendous job of bringing the club and uh, the legacy of 22 yards this fourth. And uh, my first question to uh, Bishu would be uh, that Bishu, what is your uh, what is your sentiment playing for 22 yard? And is this a team uh, with Mike and Iraj and everyone else, including Jesse? How do you feel about playing for this club? Um, it's, 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 it's an honor to, to be around such such good people. Um, everybody is good. They make us they make us comfortable from the first day. So we, we are pretty happy about that. They take care of us. So, you know, it's an amazing group of, of, of management staff and players. Everybody getting getting along very fine, and everybody enjoying one another company. All right, that's great, Bishu. I would uh, take it away uh, from uh, from you to Jesse. And one good thing that. Uh, about Jesse, I've, I've heard a lot about this guy. Iraj speaks very highly of him, and I would like to know this. Look at this guy. This guy's shy. I like him. This guy's not. This guy's camera shy, and he doesn't like when people speak high of him. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and ask uh, Mr. Uh, Bishu one last question about Jesse, and that is, uh, do you like? the team that is cohesive on ground and off ground do you think you got you guys have a very cohesive um, you know bonding with the 22 yards team yeah when we started we, we, we didn't know each other very well you know um, some of the guys come, came from Pakistan we have some Jamaicans we have some guys some guys from over here but as the days goes by we become comfortable we become more close like teammates and more of a family as, as you know 22 yards is a family um, the good thing about it um, Jesse is a guy you have to keep very far from uh, <laughs> all right now I'll take it away from Bishu and to Jesse uh, the man of the R uh, this guy's humble uh, I've heard team management speak very high of him uh, and uh, most of uh, all more than anything I've heard uh, that the cohesion in the team depends on this guy mr. Jesse so hello mr. Jesse very good evening to you uh, how do you feel about your team uh, You've led them to semifinals. Uh, what's your? I wouldn't ask your plan exactly, but how do you feel? What's your sentiment about the semifinals playing against Atlanta Paramvirs or or any other team that makes it or qualifies? Because we know Brampton defeated Atlanta Paramvirs, and knowing that Atlanta Paramvirs has Chris Gale. So, what's your feeling? What's your innate feeling about playing um, uh, playing against the team in semifinal? What are your hopes, aspirations, and what's your go-to or, or a goal you want to achieve? I mean, um, as I always say, I think we have the most talented group over here. Uh, we have, you know, quite young guys who are playing professional cricket that do it right right now in the current situation. So, and we got some, you know, players who have played international cricket, and we, they're carrying, you know, the good experience over here as well. So, um, as far as coming to semi-final and stuff, you know, we're taking it game by game. Um, it doesn't matter who who and who, you know which, which name is playing in the next game because I believe like we have equally big names and big players in our team and we have ability to run through any any team out there. So um, as far as um, preparation, um, right now we're just enjoying uh, and we're off field. We just like to enjoy, sit, sit and chill and enjoy, and um, we'll see how it goes when when we step into the ground tomorrow. Okay, and one question about the team management, where is concerned Mr. Mike Iraj Abdi as president. Uh, I would like to know, this team that has been formed, what is your experience, what is your innate experience when it comes down to people from Pakistan like Asad Ali, you've got, you've got Bishu and Rutherford. Uh, how do you feel leading them into semifinals? And what is your what is your feeling? Are you confident going into semifinals? That's the beauty of uh, uh, playing franchise cricket or playing cricket in the U.S. itself. Because uh, we form a team that comes from a different culture. Um, different countries and um, you know you, you gather up a group of people that you know brings different kind of qualities into the team different experience so so that's the beauty of it and Michael and Raj have done a tremendous job to put the squad together um, they both by the way speak very highly of you they both yeah. have innate and utmost uh, you know uh, trust and they believe in your capabilities and they say you're the man that everyone in the team goes to and I think at your age playing at this level it's it's you've done a tremendous job so i'd like to congratulate you and before i let you go uh i know i want you to enjoy the party of course 
Uh, one last question. Would you like to mention ahead of the semifinals one man who could be a danger man or the connection uh, for you to getting into final besides yourself? Um, I, I know it's hard, I it's, but I, I just I just want to know. I just want to know. It's very high to mention a one name, um, but I would just like to you know I would just like to see the boys taking ownership and just stepping up and you know anybody like I said anyone from from our batting order who clicks they could finish the game for us in any given day. So um, I'm hoping I'm talking to everyone individually. Um, these guys are you know these guys are very confident and I'm very confident about this this whole group. Um, and hopefully, I feel like you know one of the guys are uh, due to put up a good performance tomorrow and uh, hope it's in the semi-final. All right, Mr. Jesse, I wish you the very best. Good luck for your venture uh, against the team that plays semi-final. Um, I hope you lead them to finals. And as you know, I'm supporting uh, 22 yards as well. So um, uh, I'm hoping that you make it to finals and win it and bring hundred thousand dollars home. Thank All you. right, thank you very much. Shout out to you and your team. Thanks. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the next guy that we have is Trevon Griffith. He's a CPL player, and we have got a gentleman from South Africa. Uh, Mr. Trevon Griffith is online with us with Syed Nakwi. That's my boy, Taha Maiman. He's doing a fabulous job. He's leading the team. He's the entertainment manager. So we're going to go and introduce to uh, you guys to Mr. Trevon uh, Griffith, and we're going to get his perspective on his uh, his perspective on tomorrow's uh, game, that is the semifinal. And we got the great Dane Pete Bugsy. in South Africa. He calls himself Mr. Bugsy, and let's go and highlight both of them. All right, Mr. Okay, Griffith, Rasta. and we've got Mr. Bugsy. <laughs> All right, I want you to stick a little closer. Thank you very much. So, yes. I would like to start with you, Mr. Travon Griffith. Uh, first of all, I would want you to know uh, that we welcome you to the United States, of course. The 22 yards welcome you. They value you. And I would like a few um, words that I would like for you to know about the, your perspective about the cricket in the United States, how hopeful you are. Because as you know, the cricket in the United States is majorly supported by the subcontinent Caribbean. And, and of course, we've got, we've got Buxy from South Africa. I would take his perspective as well. But I want you to know how these three, four countries are going to just wallop the United States of America. So what's your experience playing for 22 yards? What do you say about Mr. Mike, who's done such a phenomenal job of managing you boys, and Iraj Abdi, the president of the club? How do you feel as a person, as a perspective, uh, comparatively that uh, you know, you've, you've played for big, big leagues? Uh, you come from, you're not a small name in the game of cricket. Uh, you do it for the love of game. What is your innate feeling when you talk about the game of cricket in the United States and whatever you've seen and whatever you're going to see? Please. Well, first of all, thanks for having me. Um, well, you know, playing cricket in America is, is, is first of all a big opportunity. Um, playing in America is, is not something that I used to, but coming here to um, in summer for the first time ever in my cricket career to play cricket and have fun with guys, I think it's an amazing opportunity. I give myself, you know, a, a challenge in coming out here and playing and you know taking part of. You know, playing around America, going to different places, and you know, the experience so far is, is magnificent. I love it, I cherish it. It's a bit different from the Caribbean, a, a, a bit different, like not far different, but a bit different. Some things that we're not accustomed to. Okay. But you know, you, you know, as a professional, you get used to doing different things in different culture and, um, um, and getting along generally with different people. So um, it's, it's good. Yeah. Okay. One question: Since you guys are, you know, you come, you guys are big name. You guys are considered son of the soil, South Africa, West Indies. You've got players here from your country or or, or otherwise, and it's such a cohesive team that you guys are going on. Uh, have you ever been approached by the junior players and they want to know your secret recipe or your secret ingredient to make it to the next level in their respect? countries that I'm sure because you guys are you guys are the athletes from your country and I'm sure they want to learn more from you have you ever incurred such a situation where someone comes up to you and asks for advice I want to make it to the next level into the West Indian cricket team or a South African cricket team what do I do what makes you different than everyone else who's waiting to play the game on a national level you've got some some hint or some advice for them well, yes, um, of course, um, younger players, they always look up to the, the, 
to, to build professionals. You know, they, they step to you, they ask you questions. It's, it's something that happens and it usually happens. Some players are more within themselves, they're more humble. So, you know, sometimes they find it, you know, a little bit shy to come and, you know, approach people. But generally speaking, younger players always do come to the experienced guy and ask for advice because obviously they want to reach to that level and they want to be the person in that sport. So, yeah. Okay, great. Now, Mr. Griffith, I would take this opportunity to introduce us to the great Mr. Buxy from South Africa and I'll take it from you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. All right, Mr. Buxy, how are you? How are we I'm doing good, this, you. this good, evening? Thank you. Good, thank you. All His right. nickname is actually Bugsy, not me. Oh, I'm I sorry. I apologize. My Please forgive Dave. me. My name is Dave. Name thank is thank you very much. Yeah. And first of all, welcome to the great you. United States of America. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for accepting the invitation yeah. uh, uh, on behalf of 22 Yards. Uh, we welcome you. We cherish you here. And thank you're you. very well respected. And, and again, once more, welcome to 22 Yards family, uh, to 22 Yards Sultans. Thank so you. I would want to know... Dan, your experience as a player, because you've seen different venues, you've gone all over the world, and I asked Griffin the same question, because you guys are up there. I'm sure these younger players come and approach you and they ask you, what's the secret recipe to make it to you know a, a, a bigger or a national team? Oh, is it hard work? Is it just the right timing? Or is it just like uh, keeping yourself fit? Because I'm sure a lot of people would be listening to you through this medium, through my interview, and they would want to know if they want to become the, the next big or yeah. great player. Well, having played for South Africa, um, I played test cricket for South Africa, so um, my big belief is always it's, it's self-belief that will take you to, to, the, to the next level, you know. Um, there's never, there's never the, the, the right time, I think, to, to, to play. Um, once you put in the hard work, um, then that's the right time basically um, and, and it's all down to the individual at the end of the day by putting in the hard work and having the self-belief in actually executing the skill you know um, so a young cricketer would always want to, to get there but they do know that there's hard work with it um, there's a lot of sacrifice you have to make determination and just getting to the next level that's always rewarding but to stay at the next level playing at like you say the next level being international cricket is always trying to maintain yourself as a human being um, because people judge you as a human being more than a cricketer so I think that's that's just the advice that I give young people trying to become a professional cricketer. Okay. all right then I want to ask you one one question the last one and I know it's it's unfair for you to answer in in this segment in one word when I say cricket sum cricket up in one word what is cricket to you in one word not a sentence a word challenging challenging I think like it, it's, it's not easy um, I was stuck between enjoyment and, and challenging I mean you meet you meet new new friends along the way like I'm from South Africa so far from I'm so far from home but I mean meeting guys from the Caribbean from Pakistan India um, all over the world it's so nice to, to, to actually mix with different cultures um, I think that's that's the game of cricket all right but challenge the challenge of actually challenging playing the game. that's that's what it is that's, that's the and actual what is your part of the game. what is your hope and wish for tomorrow's semi-final, is it to grab the cup away? Fuck, obviously. Oh, <laughs> yeah. No, obviously, <laughs> to win the whole thing. I mean, you don't play cricket to, to, to become the bridesmaid. You want to be the, the bride, you know, at the end of the day. Perfect. That's Mr. Mr. Great Dan from South Africa. What a wonderful guy. Uh, we, we learned and we listened what he has to say about, about 22 yards. So, I'll take it away. This was 22 yards. This is Syed Nakwi signing off. Thank you.